The first Titanic film was made in 1912 only month after the Titanic sank. In the spring 1912, Dorothy and her mother were on vacation in Europe. So they booked a trip on the Titanic to return to America. On the night the Titanic sank, Gibson played a late-night game of bridge with a group of bankers from New York. She was making her way back to her room around 11.40, she later told reporters, when she heard a long-drawn, sickening crunch. She decided to investigate and noticed the deck seemed lopsided. So she ran back to get her mother. Back on deck, she noticed that lifeboat 7 was virtually empty. Gibson invited her bridge partners to join her and her mother in the boat, which wound up being the first lifeboat launched from the ship. Dorothy Gibson was already a popular actress when she set up sail on the Titanic. After the disaster, she quickly became a co-writer of the film. However, it's likely that Saved from the Titanic wasn't Dorothy's idea. She reportedly didn't immediately want to do the film. Having barely recovered from the incident herself, Nevertheless, she wore the same clothes in the film that she wore on the dreadful night. Saved from the Titanic was completed in a week and was only 10 minutes long. The plot is a romantic story of a young student and a sailor. The film got excellent reviews and Dorothy's realistic portrayal was appraised. Unfortunately, due to a fire at Eclair Studios in 1914, most of Gibson's 22 films, including Saved from the Titanic, are lost to history.